and good Monday, July 21st, 2008. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boo. In top stories today, President George W. Bush may become the new name of the San Francisco Oceanside sewage plant. Let's go now to a voice over the story. Now that the motion has made the ballot, this November the people may elect to rename the city's sewage plant to the George W. Bush sewage plant. What do Rocket Boom viewers think? Is George W. Bush worthy of this honour? I mean, it is located just off the Great Highway, right near the San Francisco Zoo. In flying cars. A new flying car has hit the air above the streets, which looks almost as amazing as the well-known flying lawnmower, but actually this car is a custom-designed blimp from the company Gear Factor, part of a demonstration to show off their expert custom blimp building capabilities. And another flying car news, a contributing writer from the Washington Post is calling on NASA to put a sail and a tiller on the International Space Station and just send it out into space. A meeting at the ESA in Paris last Thursday with the International Space Station's head of agency, including members from the US, Canada, Europe, Japan and Russia, likely concluded nothing in the eyes of Michael Benson, the anxious explorer and Washington Post writer who claims that the ISS is no longer needed for near-Earth research and, quote, as a scientific research platform, it still has virtually no purpose and is accomplishing nothing. Well, I'm no astronaut, so in order to gauge the plausibility of this proposal, I went over to Slashdot to see what the commenters there had to say about it. Hmm, let's see... Nope, looks like it would never work. Look, I know I promised I would never mention the... But, if you're thinking of getting a new mobile computer... Connector Desk is made for durable mobile computing with style and class cool enough for everyone. No seats in Starbucks? No problem. I would consider this more desirable in Korea, on average, where this recent study concluded that about 10% of the whole Korean population are, quote, internet addicts, end quote, who may need help. Psychologists and counsellors often suggest replacing a negative addiction with something positive. If you're worried the birds aren't spending enough time in church, for instance, then how about a holy birdhouse? For a mere $314.44, you can purchase a house of worship to convert your neighbourhood loudmouths complete with a cross displayed in front, although no word on who will pass around the collection plate. Maybe you could use it to make a statement about where religion has gone. Looking for something more exciting? We've all seen footage of atomic bombs, right? Let's see some. Right, almost a cliché in user-generated video. You know who you are. But have you ever stopped to look at the first few milliseconds of an explosion? Here in the first one millionth of a second, you can see the explosion taking place in Nevada on top of a tower held up by guide wires. In the second millisecond, you can see the fire starting to follow the guide wires as the rest of the cloud expands. And here in the third millionth of a second, the great ball of fire and heat is enormous and really round. With that in mind, on this day in 356 BC, a man called Herostratus set fire to the Temple of Artemis in Ephesus, one of the seven wonders of the world. His reasoning? He wanted to be famous. So in order to dissuade others from doing the same, they executed him and threatened the same on any others. So remember that the next time your bomb is about to blow birds into a burning bush of waste. Hi, this is Cam reporting from the Big Island. And this is a test of rocket boom. Fuse is not working. Sorry, folks. 